It's a critical stage in my training. I'm back in the spacesuit, this time preparing for a much bigger challenge. This is my introduction to high altitude physiology. I'm entering a vacuum chamber which can simulate the atmosphere at 75,000 feet. Captain Latimer wants me to prove that I can stay alive with just my spacesuit for protection. We have Sergeant Johnson and Sergeant Jacobs in there with you today, and so two of our finest, and you got a good chance to meet those guys uh, whenever they were uh, over in the integration room with you. They're going to be right there. There's an to. awful lot of people, presumably all to keep me alive, because when all the air's pumped out, this chamber will turn deadly, making some strange things happen. Is that going to boil? That will begin to boil at around 63,000 feet, so we're going to, and I'll keep, uh, keep you posted on that as we get a little bit closer to it. Okay, we're going to start our uh, rapid ascent up to 75,000 feet now. Roger. And we're going to keep an eye on that, uh, that glove, which has already expanded considerably since we started. Now, we just passed through 50,000 feet. That's what the Air Force deems as the space equivalent zone. And uh, that's kind of a carryover to the back to the old space race days, whenever uh, we were trying to kind of set a timeline between us and this. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Let's just be clear. That water isn't boiling because it's hot, it's boiling because the pressure's so low. Without this suit on, my tears and saliva would boil too. And our glove just popped, so it made it to 70,000 feet. <laughs> so far, so good. But things would get a lot more hairy if my cockpit canopy were to fail. Without my suit, such a catastrophic pressure drop would rip apart my lungs. Let's practice that then. Three, two, one. There you go. Pull that helmet hold down. Perfect. You did a great job. Looking good. How you feeling? I'm still breathing. You are still breathing. Your suit pressure looks excellent. Your helmet pressure is looking good. So everything worked exactly like it's supposed to, which is always great. Good. I'm very glad that's over with. Well done. Your brains didn't blow up, your eyes didn't bulge out, your guts didn't fall out. So it's a good day so far. What do you say we get you out of that kit then? Yeah, let's get out of that.